Alright hosses, so we got all the boring crap out of the way in the last video, so let's start learning something cool. The first thing I want to show you guys is basically how to create a new image from cutting out an area of your original image. So this of course is my original image. Actually, let me show you in Photoshop. So say that we want to take this and, I don't know, maybe we need to crop it because we're using it as a profile picture on a website or something. Or maybe we just only wanted part of this because my ex-girlfriend was on the side so we wanted to crop her out. So what we can do using Pillow is essentially this. We can crop out, for example, a piece of this image right here and pretty much cut it and save this portion as a new image. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that and let me close out of this. Alright, so I deleted the other two lines so I kept the first one and the last one pretty much created an object from this image and displayed it in Photoshop so the first thing that we need to do is we need to give it the area that we want to crop so I'm gonna set it equal to area and it's actually a four item tuple the first two parameters are the X and Y coordinates of the top left corner so 100 100 so actually let me probably shouldn't have deleted that alright so we'll say that we want to start at 100 over and 100 down so this is going to be our starting point and we'll say that we'll crop to like I don't know like 300 and 375 so in order to do that the other parameters are 300 and 375 now another thing I want to point out is whenever you're making your tuple right here make sure that you don't go outside the main image area so for example you can't start at 100 to 100 and end up at like I don't know 600 700 because that's off your original image so just watch out for that so this is the area that we want to crop so now what we have to basically say is create a new image from this cropped image well the first thing we need is to be able to store this new image in its own object. So I'm going to name my new image cropped image and now in order to crop it take your original image and call the function crop. Now this crop function the only parameter that it takes is a four digit tuple with the parameters or the coordinates of where to crop. Oh that's convenient we have one right there. So I'm going to take this and pass it in and you can actually throw this entire thing right in here without the need for the area variable but then you have these double parentheses and it gets kinda of messy so this is actually the best way to do it so what we're basically saying is take this original image of Bucky and crop out an area with these coordinates and store that new image in this cropped image so now if we actually just show this What it's going to do whenever we run this is check this out. Now the reason that we have two of these is because this is the one I was demonstrating. This is the one that opened with this line right here and whenever it ran this line look at what it did. Pretty stinking cool. So this is our original image and this is our new cropped image. And later on I'm going to be showing you guys how to you know whatever you want to do with it whether you want to upload it to the internet or just save it as a JPEG or ping whatever but that is how you do that